The pandemic is making it more challenging for Indiana counties to recruit poll workers, but we're seeing some Hoosiers step up. Fox 59's Kayla Sullivan is reporting how the numbers are looking so far. Here in Marion County, the numbers are looking good. Indiana Republicans are confident the state will have enough poll workers in every location, but Democrats say Indiana could have done more to help. Long lines in the primary election inspired Charles Torwoodzo to step up this time around. Not only is he signed up to work the polls. I was like, I'm going to see how many people I can get to do this. He's a Marion County voter, and so far that county has surpassed its goal. Our goal was 2,000 uh, election workers. We are, uh, we are above that. We are roughly uh, 2,300 election workers. They've ramped up recruitment on social media, hoping for younger poll workers to sign up since COVID-19 isn't as threatening to that population. When talking to some county chairs around the state, that's one of the, the groups that they're really focusing on recruiting. The Indiana Republican Party is confident counties will find enough workers to safely work the polls this fall. We're hearing good things. I mean, it's still really early. Chair John Zoe he says the Indiana Democratic Party is pushing the Election Commission to expand voting by mail and allow poll workers to work polls in any Indiana county, regardless if they live there. By their inaction and refusal to expand these options, not just mail-in voting, but the options people have to work polls is, is in fact voter suppression in my opinion. The Indiana Secretary of State's office did provide PPE for all poll workers, and here in Marion County, there will be a designated health and safety officer at each polling location. Reporting in Indianapolis, Kayla Sullivan, Fox 59 News. If you're interested in becoming a poll worker, we'll have some information for you and what you need to do to sign up. It's at fox59.com.